So good evening everybody and welcome back to FTRL. We kicked off season 24 in spectacular fashion with week one at Autopolis and the uh, battle for the season 24 crown resumes here in GT2. This week we are at the Cathedral of Speed, that is the Autodrome of Monza. Uh, joining me then to pick through all tonight's GT2 action is my fellow GT1 competitor, it is Mr SBY. Good evening Sean. Good evening Lee, how's things? Good mate, good, how are you? I'm um, very good, thanks. Looking forward to this. Yes, uh, it, it's handy for us because obviously we get to pick all strategy tips up, which is always a, a yep. plus. So well, this is assuming that the uh, assuming the strategies are correct. Well, but even true. if they're incorrect, gives us a, gives us a bit of a steer. Absolutely. Uh, GT3 was a spectacular last night, so the GT2 boys have got a lot to live up to, uh, and we kick off tonight with once again the Porsche Carrera GT4 race. Um, it's going to be, I believe. Eight laps, I can't remember. Uh, I believe you're right first time. Maybe. Uh, yes, yeah, so it's going to be no qualifying for the Porsches tonight. It is a reverse grid um, championship order. Now, of course, the Porsche and the Super Formula race, which we'll see later, they are separate championships this season, so they don't count towards each other. Uh, the Porsche championship is every man for themselves. Uh, and so, therefore, yeah, expect plenty of battles. Um, practice round here suggested this is going to be a massive slipstream fest, so uh, looking forward to that. Eight laps tonight. Eight laps tonight. Eight laps on the Porsche. Eight, laps, then eight laps of no 30. chicane as well. No first chicane yeah. on this one. So it's going to be a straight flat run into Curva Grande. Now, of course, remember the Porsches are on the uh, sports soft tyres. So the grip is reduced. Uh, so Curva Grande could be fun. <laughs> it's uh, not a guarantee by any means. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So, we we'll just wait then for the race to kick off. Two minute warning for Biggles. That means we've got two minutes. Good Arvind head Johnson. Hello. Hello. The gate. You know, I was, n I was, I don't think I was wholly sure that the uh, the Porsche and the Super Formula was completely separate championships, which is great news, at least for me. <laughs> yeah, you had a storm. He's actually got something. Had a really good Porsche week. race and then a really bad uh, Super Formula race, didn't you? Oh. Last week's horrible. Well, you I mean, had a good start horrible. to the Super Formula race. The first like two hundred meters were all right. Oh, it was Porsche a great start. Break after about hundred and ninety. Then it was a yeah, yeah, it was a great start, and then it was too great a start. Yeah, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> hey, yeah. we move we move uh, so I think the circuit it was, it was a tricky circuit last week wasn't it for us I think those super formula cars mm. uh, tricky especially around that last sector of Autopolis uh, but Monza's yeah. a very different prospect isn't it I think I think bar maybe the last sector of Fuji at Autopolis was probably the, the worst place to start uh, Absolutely. with those cars but yeah never mind we go again just counted down to the start of our Porsche race uh, so for those in the stream already, hello, welcome, welcome to the stream. Please like, the please like, push the button. You know what to do. Not too impressed to be in a cheesy car, by the way. You can't stand it. Oh, sorry, mate. Well, you blame Zach. Zach picked the uh, deliveries for the Porsches. He, he suggested Doritos, and Jordan wanted the cheesy ones. So uh, there you go. If you want something else, get, let me know. You get what you get. it again. I'll, I'll do something better. To be fair, there are much better flavour of Doritos. I think this was covered last week, actually. Yeah. <laughs> in the GT2 commentary. <laughs> we won't go over it again. So, we're about to kick off. Mm. We appreciate you standing in there. Much appreciated. So, do your best. Yeah. And if you want to take out Lennon, that's absolutely fine. <laughs> Let's see what we've got in the chat. Tom in the chat. Evening, Fever, Jonesy. Witchell. Evening, Witchell. What do we think? What do we think? Who is going to... I, mean, I, I can't see anyone getting away, let's put it that way. No, very much so. It's going to be a bit of a... Uh... Yeah. Hello? <laughs> oh, he's turned the... Uh... He's uh, not... I think he's there qualifying him. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> so, we're... false start, false start. Tom's already predicting two cars to go off uh, turn one. Do you mean on the first lap time or lap two? Probably first lap. Wouldn't be a surprise. <laughs> well, I'll take this opportunity. I've got a break then. Uh, let's go dig in. Oh, standings going into this week then to see how well A was, but the grid's going to look like. 
and uh, be how it's going to set things up for so standings for the Porsche then uh, blue flag then ended up victorious last week because Lennon got a penalty however well yep. um, for those who watched the race Lennon did an absolutely superb switch back on uh, blue flag out the final quarter of the last lap of the Porsche race unfortunately he was penalised for an earlier incident so blue flag then uh, will be at the back of the grid tonight he ends up with a a post-race uh, victory which is never how anybody likes to win in but I think some of us will just take them to be honest so, uh, I think Blue Flag doesn't care <laughs> uh, he's win by his name um, uh, he's leading the championship it does mean of course he's at the back of the grid for this one then uh, mm -hmm. which is a little bit unfortunate for him uh, Odon then uh, filling in for Jordan tonight so he will be lining up uh, in P13 as Jordan was second or was third on track so he ended up second uh, Biggles is third in the championship on 12th and joker in fourth on 11 homer on 10 points in fifth and dusty fossil in sixth let's go to the front of the grid like you just pointed out we have an unknown entity um, mm, i see him there on the front row cg 106 gti he is the replacement for our industrious leader go teammates honorary teammate oh he dropped the start oh, oh and oh. behind him josie's got as well Oh, hello. Oh, dear. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. I think Tom was right. There's definitely people going off now. So, oh, where we go then, Derek. Then he oh. gets the jump. Royston in hot pursuit. I'm going to call him CG, just to shorten it down. He's, yes. I think he was feeling a bit nervous between the, before the race, and he's absolutely he's probably now yeah. everywhere. <laughs> <off the start. laughs> I think that's <laughs> A bit of an ear right. to Kevin Grander, then, who's been right paying attention to Royston pack. right on the edge oh, of the track. Somebody in the big back. lift. Oh, in, oh, on in the background as well. There's a cheesy Nacho car off in the background. Oh, it's three wide. Into the break. So Zach and unsafe, making it wide, but Derek will hold the lead then. Oh, somebody bumping across the grass in the background. Dusty Foss has been pushed a little bit wide. Oh, what a penalty for Derek. He's got a half second penalty on that, that chicane. The second chicane, even though it's the first one. We'll keep calling it the second chicane just for. Uh, just so we know where we're at then. Derek leaves then, but has a half second penalty. Switch back then, tucked in behind him. Lennon's already up to third in the Oreo Cup. Will Derek be serving that? Will Derek be serving that penalty this lap? He'll be disastrous indeed. for him if he is. Yeah, he's <laughs> on the back. He's on the back straight yeah. towards Parabolica. So. Yeah, you're right. Switch back can just bide his time here. But is the front, is the front the place to be around here? Because uh, oh, Derek, Ooh, very deep into the scary. That's not that's not the place to be. Oh, and Zach's got a second penalty. Oh, now he won't oh, serve his lap. lap. Oh, another one behind, and Lennon's got one and a half seconds. Lennon Multiplies on safe. He's going to come through to take the lead. Then the last time, though. Derek's serving his penalty yeah. now. Where does that drop into? P4, maybe P5. No, Royston's not four, quite yeah, going to catch him. P4 here. That's not a bad result for Derek, in all fairness. No. Oh, Josie's wide. Who have we got in the background? Biggles, Joker, Odon, still at the back. Unsafe, challenging for the lead. Down the start, finish right. Then he's side by side with Zach. Lennon tucked into the slipstream behind Zach. He's going to bump him through. Yeah, it looks like Lennon's bumping Zach here. Oh, there's a massive cluster of cars in the background. <laughs> here we go then. Here's Curva Grande, second time around. Who's got the line right? If you can get the line right, you can stay flat. But if you're not, you need to lift. Oh, CG's Derek's gone wide. He's off. Wide. Oh, he's off. Oh, Joji's coming around fast. Oh, I think everyone's managed to avoid him just about. Unfortunately, CG drops to the back. Yep, I think he's been caught out there. As they make their way Ooh. to the get all Lennon and Zach contact. Royston in the background. Takes the lead. Oh, well. it off goes. Is that Dusty Fossil? It is. He ran into the back. Uh, I think it was Royston coming very slowly and he got on the gravel. Royston um, coming out of the chicane. Dusty just went straight into the back of him and spun it round. Spears off then into the wall. Carnage. Oh, Jones is off in the background then, and so <laughs> is Biggles in the gravel coming out of the Degna. Real transfer on safe here, as FIFA saying in the chat. He's over the moon with this, he's got a big gap behind him, over a second to Derek, and the two in front of him are going to serve big penalties. It's a little bit wide coming into Ascari, but he should still be okay. He needs to try and keep Derek out of slipstream range, because the two in front are just going to drop right back into that pack, cause all sorts of trouble. Uh, intel from inside the party. Uh, Jonesy broke for the chicane that wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> excellent. On lap two as well. That's that's excellent work. <laughs> oh, is that the wall? Oh, no. 
somebody wants the inside wall. Oh, and there's people going round. Oh, it's Homer. Homer. Homer on the brakes there. No, and pitched back. into the wall. Ugh. And that's dropped him all the way down the back then. So on safe then leads the way by 1.3 seconds over Derek. Switchbacks in third and Lennon in fourth. So they've got away with that quite nicely. To put that big gap behind mm. has uh, helped them out immensely. Blue flags up to fifth then from the back of the grid. Going well. Royston in sixth. Panda seventh. Joker in eighth. Jonesy's ninth. Odon up to tenth. Then keeping himself out of trouble. Big holes we saw in the background in the gravel is P11. Then CG into oh, P12. Derek, home behind him. Derek. Oh, oh no. Derek's dropped down to P6. Caught the Derek. gravel on the outside. Curve ground oh, again. By the, uh, you know, the curve ground there. Mm. You need to... Ooh. If you've not got that line absolutely nailed on, you have to do a lift. Just a comfort lift. It'll be fine, but... Yeah. Oh, he's that going straight on. Oh, it's just... It's, it's Joker. Just Joker's it through Joker. the uh, chicane. Oh, everyone's all over the place. These sports tyres are really catching people out. Oh, Dusty Foster's in the gravel again in the background. He's having a torrid yeah. time in this one. Derek got very, very lucky there. He, after going wide and coming back on, he almost decided to go back into the racing line and then just had a really quick look right and realised there were three cars there. And he yeah. checked himself. Good awareness there. So Check he's still himself. peaceful. Or he wrecked himself. And oh, yeah. So good awareness there. And safe lead then, having been over a second, Zach is there. He's got the magnets on. He's got that down under a second. He's coming to a Scari. Safe, safe took a Scari really, really nice there. there. Yeah, so he's had a good run through Ascari there and pulls that gap back out again. Oh, Lennon with another half second penalty. Oh, lots of people wide in the background. Biggles, Joker, Jonesy all off the track. Or Jonesy's might have been lag. Not sure. Nobody knows where he is. I think if you lift, you might get away without a penalty there because nobody seems to have picked one up. Lennon does have another penalty, however. Second again for Lennon then. So the front four made a bit of a break then. Royston to go well in P5. Big gap behind him then to Panda, Derek and Odon who's just just quietly going about his business. They're keeping out of trouble. He's up to eighth place then. So they're going really well in this one so far. Standing in tonight for Jordan who's at the darts. <laughs> Hasn't gone in fancy dress though. Very disappointed. Oh, that's a shame. It's like a standing could have gone as a, like, could have gone as a Dorito. Darts, you have to do it in fancy dress. Yeah, could have gone as a Dorito, couldn't he? Absolutely, then Derek down the inside of Panda into Curva Grande. Yeah, you can see there on the tyres of line. Yeah, that's okay there, so you stay flat through there if you get the right line. But uh, through he goes in, so up to sixth. Panda relegated to seventh. He was saying uh, switch back to catching up, or he's actually said switch back catching up. Oh, uh, and Blue Flag's got a second penalty now. Might make on safe, say, not catch Ung, maybe. He will then lose his two pursuers. Yeah, so up to fourth of the degrees, had a really good run so far. That will drop him back though towards Royster, but the gap's three seconds, so should retain the place. This is strong out a little bit more than I thought he might, to be honest. Yeah, I think all the penalties are taking their toll, and obviously there's been a few incidents throughout. Somebody's on the gravel in the background. CG again. Yeah. He's hanging on in there, but he's having a bit of trouble. Uh, I think this is bite me. <laughs> If this commentary duo don't point out spelling and grammar, then nobody's going to. <laughs> Absolutely. So then unsafe then, holding a lead of just over a second then as they come to Parabolica to complete lap four. That'll be half race distance. So four down, four to go. Oh, he's right on the edge there. there. He's yeah, okay, kept the speed. I, I just don't know how you keep any speed through that corner, having done about 10 minutes practice. Some good lap times coming in there. And currently holding the fastest lap there, the 50.6. It's rapid. Speed up indeed. So yeah, despite that penalty, then blue flag still in touch. Royston has closed the gap slightly. But uh, further back, then Odon then go past Derek into seventh. So Odon then making really good progress as well. Derek is going to come back at him. Battled on track last night in GT3. They're battling again on track here in GT2. It's kind of the grand of the game. Nice. Getting the yep. done. Nicely done. Yeah, I think that was sensible. They just made sure that he, he dropped back in and now he gets another chance to potentially challenge. Drops back in again then wait for another opportunity then Joker closing back in on them. Of course we saw him running through this chicane a little bit earlier. See there's the bollards in the middle of the circuit Ooh. there, so that's uh, a Good legacy of Joker. work. There are CGs in the gravel again. Oh, Ooh, catches the slide, oh, Joker with a second penalty. Oh, it looked like Ouch. a really good run through the chicane, but he must have just cut a little too much. It's got him another second. I don't know how many penalties are going to be in the Super Formula. 
<laughs> yeah, good point. So on safe then, keeping that gap at about a second over switch, but then going a personal best then into Ascari. Two tenths up on his current best there. He's had a bit of a tidy entrance there. I think they've got a bit of a slide on. Zach's just closed in ever so slightly. So now under a second. That's such, such a, a good one for Ascari. That gap's now coming down. Hammer and Tong. Mm. Such a fine line with these cards. If you, you get them to slide just a tiny bit, then that's the fastest way to do it. But it's so easy to just give it too much. Yeah. So I think I'm a good one to Parabolica, although Zach's got the better so exit there. So I'm saving a good entry to the corner. Zach's focused on his exit, though. That gap is coming down. He's very nearly back into slipstream range here. 50.9 from on the safe. 50.7 from Zach, and he's going to catch Slipstream in a second because he's still gaining. Point Blue seven just, five. Blue Flex just dipped into the Slipstream of Lennon as well. He's catching him Zach's now. There, yeah, Zach's got Slipstream now from unsafe. So now, now we're going to see him start to apply the pressure. Then, right, yep. Blue Flag also closing in on Lennon and a big gap to Royston who's doing really well. P five. A bit of no man's done though, he's got 3.7 ahead of him, 2.3 behind him to Panda, who has dropped the battle. Derek's now clear in seventh. Joker has served his penalty and is still ahead of Odon. Now eighth and ninth. And Homer in tenth. Jonesy with a half second penalty in eleventh. Goes purple though in sector one. And CG just behind them. Biggles and Dusty Fossil. Still recovering from his earlier dramas, but seems to be into a bit of a groove now. Oh, what's happened? Oh, what's happened to Zach? Oh, he's down to P5. Zach's had a moment somewhere. Second chicane, I would imagine. Second so, penalty for Lennon as well. Yeah. Blue flag took to right into the rear wing. That's going to see him demoted to third there. Oh, he's wide then into Ascari Ooh. as well. There's might be more penalty coming. Yeah, Doesn't want to get any more than that. He's cut that corner <laughs> quite a lot. <laughs> yep, up to a second oh, and a half. half second, yeah. Then drops out the slipstream. Now oh, it's good to let Royston switch back. And Panda. Royston. On to yeah, Royston's there. A podium. Yeah, Royston now has the opportunity to get a podium. Zach could be back in the podium attention as well. That's good Panda who's uh, slowly making his way forward. Well, this has given then unsafe a lead. This has a 4.6 second lead then. So he's looking very comfortable out front. Under no pressure then. Panda in the slipstream of Sack then. Is he going to go for a move into turn one? Pops out the slipstream. Here we go. On the inside. He was like trying to hang on around the outside. He will. Can he stay on the circuit? He can. He's driving there from Zach. Yep, so he's hung, hung on well around the outside there. Further back, Derek then, still in P7 with Joker closing down on him. Homer's up to ninth. Odon now in 10th. CG there as well, going well. And Davey, still in the pack. It's Sai's turn to pick up a second. Ooh, it's galore. Absolute music. It was a big old slide then. Dusty Foss has got ahead of Jonesy, who is now all the way to the back of the grid. So, the blue flag then be sucked back into this battle for the podium. Switchback has reattached himself to the back of Royston then. Gonna go for a move into Ascari. Royston goes a little bit deep. Blue flag then serving his penalty now. He hits the line. Now then I think we'll definitely get there. Oh, Odon's off at Ascari. Oh no. He was side by side with CG. There was no, there wasn't any contact. He just I think tried to break a little bit too late. And it's going straight in the gravel. From yeah, CG back to P10. Started. Dusty's going to come through and take P11 as Biggles serves a penalty. We can hang the side by side into Parabolica. Meanwhile, final lap. Outside. Unsafe six seconds clear. Just makes Homer bring a nice duff, duff delivery there. Allowing the cigarettes in the front as well. Oh, we've got three car battle then. Four, four, switch back up the inside of Royston. Blue flat there, uh, Panda, sorry. Trying to get involved as well. We've got Oven in the chat, tuning in at half time from Villa Park. 
<laughs> Good job. Switchback gets the move done. He's up to fourth. Blue flag defending from Lennon. I've seen this before around the circuit. <laughs> and well, last time. Oh, Royston having a big old slide there through the chicane. Pandas, they go for a move, but then finds one of the orange bollards in his way. He's hit that off the circuit again. <laughs> Has he got the momentum to get ahead into the Degna? The answer is he's up the inside. They're Still side there. by side. He is ahead. Ooh. And it will complete the move Royston to Degna to too. Yeah. Royston tried to hang it around the outside there. Oh, Pandas had a slide though. Royston might have enough to get, get him back into a scurry here. Not a lot of slipstream off these cars though. <laughs> Oh, Lennon up inside, a blue flag into a scar, he's just showing there in the mirrors. Can he get a good exit? This blue flag got his pants pulled down, the last cut of a, of a oh. top of his Lennon's out over the Astro Turf. Trying to get the run down the back straight then. Up ahead, yeah, meanwhile, it. unsafe, it's untribbled. The battle's on for P2. I think that might, might have cost Lennon, unless he gets a really good run out of Parabolica. He's gone up wide. Front. Yeah, no issues at all there for Unsafe Release. He has been dominant in this one then. And he will pick up his first win of the season. Great job from him. Oh, oh Lennon's up the inside. Here through. we go again. He's not going to make it. got him last week. Not this time. I believe that hangs on by 32,000. Zach recovers to P4. Panda gets fifth from Royston on the final lap. Homer recovers to P7. Joker in P8 is going to hold off Derek on the run to the line. They're eighth and ninth. 10th is CG on debut. Good job from him. Dusty Fossil yeah. is P11. Josie's P12. Biggles P13. And Odon crossing the line P14. Whew. Well, it was uh, as dramatic and as chaotic as we expected. Yeah. Absolutely. But it is unsafe then who prevails there. Comfortable for him up front there. Once his uh, nearest pursuer, Zach, had a moment and dropped back. He just cruised there to a very comfortable victory. Ferrari suit and all. Just Eight there. seconds and so great job from him. Blue flag then hanging on to P2. Not going to be beaten twice in two weeks by Lennon. So yeah, P2 and P3. Zach recovering there, having had his moment. Back to P4. Panda then coming through for P5 on the last lap. Ahead of Royston. Great job from him in P6. Homer we saw spearing off into the wall. Recovers for P7. Joker is P8 there, having held off Derek, who is P9. Uh, CG there on debut gets P10. Great job from him. Dusty Fossil is P11. Josie P12. Biggles P13. And Odon in a P14 there. Having let him record, he lost six seconds just to penalties there. So we need to cut that out, Lennon, don't you? I think you get. Anybody will get a very, very good result in this next race if they manage to get around 30 laps with no accidents and no penalties. Indeed. I think you probably take a couple of seconds off each lap and still. Uh, <coughs> right then, Still so now, from it. Uh, oh, Biggles has not set the road right, right, needs to do qualifying. So we are supposed to be having a qualifying session um, for the Super Formula race then, just five minutes on Ooh, medium yeah, tyres. Give everybody the chance to, uh... oh, there we go, yep, we saw, we saw that enough, yep, so five minute qualifying. We'll decide the order for this one. So... Safe says he reacted to the two guys in front of him jumping the start and ended up getting the perfect launch there. So Bottas at Suzuka like reflexes. <laughs> yes, yeah, so and you can qualify mediums for this one. Mediums only for qualifying. And then uh, one set of mediums for the race itself. 30 laps again, the race, as of last week. Again, just one set of medium tyres can be used in the race. With unlimited hards available. But uh, this week, it's not so much the tyres that are the, uh, the factor that... Uh, it's going to be fuel more than anything here. Of course, Mons are a very high-speed circuit. Not too many braking zones. Not big braking zones yeah. anyway. So very much on the throttle for a good majority of this lap there. So it really does drink the fuel. Um, so it's going to be whether or not the drivers can save the fuel to make this on three. Or are they going to go for a four-stop it? Everybody then in equal. Uh... Honda SF23 Super Formula cars. They won't have, of course, the overtake available in qualifying, but they will have it in the race. 30 seconds of overtake is available to deploy. As and when some fit to help with them overtaking. 21 people e are watching, but only 10 of like the
Yeah, fuel is going to be really, really interesting. Because on like, top list last week was, unless you were really <laughs> hammering it the whole way around, it was a comfortable 10 laps on fuel. And it was three lots, three lots of 10, you know, sorted. That is not going to happen this time around. So it'd be really interesting to see what people get up to. You can't really save that much fuel, that's the problem. No, no I say it's because it's, it's a circuit where you're just on the throttle, it's not like any any half throttle, is it? So it's all about early upshifts and lift and coasting where, where applicable, but like I said, there's not really um, mm. too many big braking zones here, so you really do much lift and coast. Uh, is there any difference between the Honda and the Toyota? Not really. We, um, we don't think so. <laughs> we don't think so, however, just to eradicate anybody saying mm -hmm. that there is, or just in case there is a minor difference, because I know some people have said there are minor differences. I don't think there are. Because um, they use a um, standardised chassis, um, so the cars all look the same. It's obviously just the engine in it, and obviously in this game, it's not going to be any difference. But, uh, yeah, just to just eradicate anybody sure. saying they've got a dodgy car, everybody using the same car. about 1 minute 30 on the mediums probably 130 132s on the hards if you're uh, right in the groove you know, some of the aliens in GT1 might be dipping into the 29s for lap auto yeah I think third, especially in race 30s is a, a very good time on the mediums yes uh, of course they are the tire wear is quite high as so the mediums aren't going to last too long now there is the option of course with it the circuit here Again, not really have many heavy load corners other than maybe parabolica and maybe to a little extent uh ascari maybe the degas um there is the option to double stint tires potentially here just to save a little bit of time but uh, it's kind of up to the drivers whether or not they want to do that yeah the hard tires possible potentially dodgy but possible as i say even the mediums will, will comfortably do the eight laps if you know the full tank it looks like, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> it looks like it will be eight laps. Yeah, I mean, the mediums could definitely go deeper, but um, mm. it's whether or not you can get two stints out of them to obviously making If you're looking at a, a three stopper, impressive. Mm. you're looking at seven, seven, eight, eight, really. Yeah. Anything more than that, that's really just stretching your fuel as much as you can. If you can save in more than fuel than that, I think you're going to be losing too much time. But uh, Yeah, true. I mean, maybe if you can lift into the corners a bit, you might be able to get a couple, an extra lap on the mediums, which might help. But apart from that, no. Nah. There is a fair bit of time difference between the mediums and the, the hards, as far as I can tell, at least. So you're probably looking at mm, two seconds. But yeah, remains to be seen. Who's that spinning at the first chicane? <laughs> Alright. Get your predictions in the chat. We're about to get going. Uh, Who's going to take this one? We'll get your predictions in for qualifying first. I mean, after last week, it's difficult to look past Lennon, although Homer was uh, yeah. obviously in the race. Super brought himself right into contention mm. uh, on strategy, but of course it's yeah. less strategy, it's more fuel saving this week, which not necessarily led a strong point. Uh, I'm digging your claws into my knees. <laughs> Qualifying will be important just for, you know, <coughs> not, not so much the race as a whole, but just for staying out of the pack in lap one, I suppose. Yes, of course, standing start as well, so of course yeah. they have to remember to, uh, they've got a break for that chicane this time. Joe Jonesy obviously was practicing the Porsche race. But, uh, <laughs> He's got to go straight on, isn't he? <laughs> After breaking in the first race, St. James is probably going to go straight on here on that one. Making their way out. Who is first on track? It is. Blue flag. I'm just keeping an eye on him. Dusty Fossil here. Dusty Fossil's leading us around. 
That's right, Jones he just about got it stopped. He's lagging horrendously though. <laughs> I thought we were over this. Mm, well. I guess we do have the overtake look, so overtake is available in qualifying. I think we so do, yeah. Work. See who remembers, oh, no. see who's got it mapped. Yes. <coughs> I mean, Dusty's using his on his outlap, which is... Uh, Interest interestingly. <laughs> interesting. <laughs> is, might just be trying to get himself clear of the uh, following pack. I mean, I'm sure the guys behind will just back off anyway. What we saw oh, at Autopolis was a lot of... Um... <laughs> oh dear. Uh, what we saw was old topless Jonesy's off. There's a lot of dirty air um, yes. affecting people around the corners. Whether that the slipstream in the straights and qualifying, especially it makes up for it, yes. I don't know. Someone's Risk spinning powerful. a scarry. Yeah. <laughs> me and Chubbs did some laps together last night. The, the slipstream was very powerful around it. Yeah. But the dirty air is not too bad around it because obviously a lot of the corners are these chicanes. The only two corners that really get you are the dankness. And, yeah. Um, so also then into. First game. It's not to power the Joker's not happy about something. It starts to build the speed then around Curva Grande. Don't Maybe think as late as you dare for the second game. Dusty's had a particularly good start to this lap because Blue Flag's right on his tail and he had a reasonable gap, I think. See in the mirror. Blue Flag's yeah. probably uh, cursing that as well because he doesn't want to get the dirt. Yeah, especially the Degnus here where it really will hurt him. Lennon oh, exactly. pops right under Blue Flag's wing. Yeah. <coughs> so not done a very good job of spreading themselves out, have they? No. We'll see what Lennon's lap time is. It's looking pretty effective so far. He is closing right in on Dusty Fossil. Yeah, might hand for him. That's Blue Flag then, so... Yeah, Blue Flag stopped and let everyone through. Uh, uh, it's a short session. I think drivers are keen to get on with it, but... Uh, yeah. Over to the ladder, though, getting a very nice slipstream hit. You can see him just in the mirror there. Yeah, this could the be the lap for Lennon. Yeah, got all the slipstream off of Blue Flag. Blue Flag let him go. And now he's got all the slipstream off Dusty Fossil. And this is looking like a 129, maybe. Oh, it's 130.3. It's a good lap. A good lap indeed. 1.2 seconds up then on safe release. He goes second. goes third. Biggles goes second. Panda into third. Good job, Biggles. Derek in seventh, then. That's a job there from him. He's <laughs> Lennon eight tenths. Ninth. <laughs> Home and Royston go seventh and eighth. Then an eight tenths clear of everyone else at the minute. James do then. Ooh. He was uh, <laughs> struggling earlier. Not been a particularly uh, rapid lap from him either. Oh, it goes tenth though. I think Dusty Fossil might have his overtake button taped down or something. It because he's, he's <laughs> absolutely gunned it. He's used three quarters there already. He's only on lap three. <laughs> well, these guys at the front might get one more lap in. Yep, forty-five seconds. They will get there. In fact, like quite a, quite a few of them will. I think. I think a majority of them will. It's maybe Jonesy's yeah. right at the back. We'll probably won't get another one in. Yep. I think we're looking at um, Panda being the last one. Over the line. Oh, Lennon's caught the curve. He's had a parabolic and then has a bit of a twitch. Oh. It's not then. Not as quick. No. He's nowhere near this slap. So anybody else. Seven. It's not a bad lap still. Mm. Looks like a second by just 82,000. So 30.4 from him. Great lap there from him. Biggles then, does he improve? Nope. Not quite. He's not though, but who does improve? Panda, Panda goes second, splits the gap between Lennon and Blue Flag. A few of these really guys have got very little overtake left now. In fact, uh, Biggles yeah. has got none. So then people have now finished, and so yeah, looks like Panda was the last one across the line. Yeah. Odon can't improve. Then's on another lap, Jokers. Finishes. Jones is coming around to complete his second flying lap. This one looks a little bit better. I think the uh, the lack of Just remaining nine. overtake is going to kill most of these laps. Switchback still got a fair bit. What about Lennon then, he's coming under the, uh, the crossover the oval. 
He is purple by one and a half tenths. Wow. So this could be a 29 potentially. It's a good final sector. It's about burners all over take out though. Yep. Keeping an eye on switchbacks, he's the only one with any decent amount left. And then out of the final corner. It's not going badly either. Former F1. Two, two champions 30.1 then from Lennon. Opens the gap up. Blue flag crosses the line, does not improve. Got three cars coming around the final corner. And there's got a bit of traffic. Oh! Switch oh, switchback. 30.175 goes pole. Panda then was coming. does not Just improve in the end. The take. <laughs> so what a lap from Zach then. Snatches pro pole position. See there, it's a, it's all the guys who used to do F1 at the front yeah, there. Switchback, the Lennon, Panda, <laughs> Blue Flag. The old hands. And safe there's another X F1. As is Jonesy. He struggled a little bit though. Justy Fossil also did a F1 with us for a bit. This one. Then, so switch back on pole. Very fast times. I'm, str I'm exactly. struggling to I'm struggling to meet those times. Tell totally you that right now. Well, to be fair, you've probably been doing it without the overtake, there, haven't we? Yeah, true, true. So I'm I, I use it. it. I'm better than all these guys. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of twenty. Everybody's gonna be in the twenty nines tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Lol, bloody right, then, <laughs> get some predictions in the chat. Then who do you think is gonna win this one? Who's your money on, Sean? <sighs> you see, I think qualifying doesn't matter for shit. Actually. <laughs> It's going to be least number of accidents. Uh, penalties will play a uh, part as well, but I think it's literally going to be a wall about can you keep the car on the track? I am going to go for Panda. Tom's backing his teammate Lennon then. Sean's money's on Panda. Uh, I'm going to put my money on. Well, yeah, I should have backed my teammate, shouldn't I? Sorry, Pickles. Sorry. That's <laughs> 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 in there somewhere. Starting sixth. So, standing start. Make sure they've got some traction control on. See if we don't get any false starts this time. Yeah. Let's go. Everybody waits for the lights this time. And away we Good go. Start from switchback. Yes, yeah, so switchback. They're getting a great launch there, but Leonard is coming back at him. And the one down to the first chicane. Then he's on oh, the inside. Zach's on the outside. He's going to break the latest. Zach sweeps in and takes the lead. Then a second blue flag, third, Panda in fourth. Homer's got run out a little bit wide there from Biggles, who's up to fifth. Everyone's made it through. On Seth Royston, Dusty Fossil, Derek, Joker, Jonesy, oh. CG, Odon. That was, un that was unfortunate for CG. He was about to make it up to 11th, and he just got pushed a little bit wide and had to let go of the throttle to avoid going on the gravel. Mm -hmm. He was, had a good start. Switch back to second clear. Yeah. So switch back then, already on the overtake. He's trying to pull that gap out immediately. Yeah. Make hay where he's got the clear air. It's going to be difficult, especially for this section here. See the Degnas is where the dirt yeah, really hurts these cars on the circuit. Everywhere else, it's not so bad. Last week, it was a massive problem because you had a lot of long, sweeping corners. This place is all just chicanes, really, so it's a lot easier to follow. But Zach is making hay while he's got clear track on the medium tyres as well. So, of course, we've got different tyres mm. being used. And so, switch back on the mediums. Lennon's on the hards, which might explain also why Zach has pulled clear. Yeah. Um, blue flag's on the hard tyre, as is Panda. So is Homer. Derek and Biggles, is on the mediums. On safe. Royston, Joker. Derek's on the mediums. Odon's on hards. As CG. Jonesy and Dusty Fossil, who's had a drama already. On the hard I side. I think this is a good choice from uh, from Switchback. Yeah, yeah very much. Clear make, air. make use of the clear out. Yeah. yeah. So I probably do, I'll probably do a seven laps on these, unless you can extend it to eight. Uh, and safely. I think it's better to just go, go, balls to the wall, and just push, do seven laps. <laughs> Biggles played that extremely safe and just let on safe through, and now he's trying to cut back on the exit <laughs> to the first chicane. Is he going to make it out? Then. So he got up to fifth coming out of the first chicane. Yeah. I think uh, he's just he's playing it safe, not, not getting into any trouble. Yeah. Aaron declaring his love for Zach there. Good evening, Dane, as well. Hello, welcome. <laughs> safe for the twitch there as he gets out of the second chicane. <coughs> Derek there, tucked under the wing of Joker. Hold on, going well in 11th. And of CG, Jonesy. And recovering Dusty Fossil. 
that is 3.3 seconds clear already. He is checking out. Hold on, but we saw last week how powerful the tyre different. Oh, half second Ooh, penalty. Oh, there's the penalty. <laughs> first penalty then for him, half second. Yeah. First one I've seen, actually. Anyway. So it all comes flooding in now. Around. Let's have a look at the fuel situation. So Zach's on about a quarter gone, as is Lennon. Those blue flags. So it's kind of the same on fuel. Yeah, but he's doing any massive amount of saving at the moment. No, uh, Jones is a little just... bit better than everybody else. Yeah, but he's going slower than everybody else. <laughs> yeah. So, it's going to come down to a strategy battle, I think, this one. Can you go straight into third out of that first chicane? I, no, I use second. Okay, I, I tend to go straight into third. Uh, That's just fear of spinning it, though. Yeah, I've not really had any problems with that again, other than the clipping the curb. <laughs> Aaron wants to know where has Tom called Jonesy Johnsy yet? Uh, I don't think so. I think he's just not mentioned him. Going there, some love for his teammates. Aaron Royce currently sat in fifth and eighth. But yeah, I don't know who was a uh, Second last week, of course, was probably on for the win, but uh, a mistake on the penultimate lap gifted the win to Lennon. So Dirty Air playing a massive part last week. Homer had kept Lennon at arm's length, despite being on the hard tyre with Lennon on the mediums, but a mistake in that uh, final sector that Lennon threw for the victory. Still a very good drive from him last week. He's going to do something radical again this week. We shall see. Jonesy trying everything in the back to find a way past CG including I think trying to uh, lag through him <laughs> start calling him Penelope Penelope on streets yes. if you wreck it Ralph fans out there it's possible he is catching the pack up again so he's got back into a bit of a rhythm now this one's a bit more spread out once again <coughs> I think everybody's just trying to get embedded in this thing and then uh, expect to see a little bit more action later on then. I think Lennon's lap times are... Oh, what's up the panda? Panda's around. Oh, oh cursed. Cursed him. The first chicane is probably well out. The first chicane is also. Awesome. I'm not sure what's happened to panda there. Maybe he's got the curb and caught the gravel. Yeah. He's all the way down to P10 then. So out of fourth place goes panda. He's maybe one of the favourites for this win then. I think Odo might come down the inside of him here as well into the second chicane. Here he goes. Panda lets him go. He's still got to clean his yeah. tyres up a little bit. Oh, big slide again there. Oh, yeah, not clean yet. However, he's still going to make the move. Jones has made his way into P12 now. I think Lennon's times are better than switchbacks, taking into account the tyre <laughs> difference. Well, switchback, of course, had a penalty on the last lap, so mm. let's see if he that's, responds on this lap. He needs to be yeah. in 31s, really. I'd say he's, he's going to have to improve on that lap, too, which was a 31.9. He needs to be quicker than that. I think this lap is slightly yeah, better than that. Yeah, 31.3, that's yeah, better. That's, more that's like what he pace, needs. Yep. Yep. Yeah, that's more like it. Lent and setting. Responds with a 32. 32.7, <gasps> though. 32, that's quick yeah. as well. Oof. It's very quick on the hards. Blue flag's sticking with him. Yep. 32.5 from blue flag, actually. Wow. So, uh, three doing good laps. Homer with a 34 full lap that time around, so a little bit off there. Again, a moment. Here comes Derek. Thought about a move on Royston for P7. Didn't quite go for it in the end. It didn't go well, considering he's uh, filling at late notice in P8. Right the back of Royston as well, so this is the closest battle at the minute, I think. Got a uh, big one to the head of them, and then unsafe a little bit further up the road as well. Shown the nose into the break zone for the second again. Oh, then catches a curb. Has a big slide. Ooh. Gathers it up though. Lost himself a little bit of time there though. These cars are very sensitive to curves around. It's weird mm -hmm. they, they don't like the curves at the first you came, but you can sort of attack them a little bit in the second you came. Yeah. And then you definitely do not want to touch anything in the Skyway. Yes, you have to be completely off the off the throttle if you're going to ride anything in a Skyway. So. Yeah, I've learnt, learnt that in practice. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that was probably the next one. Where's the Sim Demon guys at? Well, Joker's in ninth. Doing better than he went last week. 
I'll take it a little bit more to his liking, I believe, in this car. Anyway. We won't. We won't talk about Dusty Fossil. Dusty Fossil is tucked under the rear wing of CG. <laughs> Tim C. It's name. Love that. So, yeah, Joker then has. Uh, sorry, Dusty <laughs> Fossil has caught the back of CG. He has a big twitch there coming out of Ascari. And we might see an overtake here for P13. Down the inside he goes. And upper position then. So, through he goes. Now will CG respond? Tucks back into the slipstream then. And he's pulling to the inside. And side by side as they cross the line. Drops back into the slipstream. Pushes out again. He's going to be late on the brakes. Oh, what about it? Ooh, maybe a little bit of a touch there, but no, nope. Dusty Boss was staying ahead then, so position gained. I do think there's a chance here for switch back to um, keep his tyres through the pit stop. All right, I'm not sure if it's worth it. I I tried this strategy myself because I thought with the tyre wear the way it is around here, Ooh, it's not possible, and I think by the end of the second stint, they're, they're ruined. And I think you've yeah. not, not gained you've got to be the time so anymore. Careful, plus, yeah. plus after after sort of 10 laps, the wear gets worse because you start to slide a lot more. And then the yes. wear just increases. Yeah. So it's... That always... Oh, God, that always happens. You look down and you think, oh, I'm doing quite well. I mean, like, yes. a quarter more And then you get a bit sucked in, and, then you and you're like, oh, okay, oh. yeah, this is working. Uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Definitely doable on the hard, though. So it will probably won't be any, yeah. any issue with that. Yeah. So switch back then with 31.6 again, so he's done 31.6 in the last two laps. Lennon this time with a 33.0. Mm. Oh, so let's go back, sorry to bang on about tyre wear again, but Derek's is phenomenal. Yeah, Derek. Okay, so the, left rear, the left rear is the one around yeah. here that you need to watch, because that's the one that burns up. But yeah, Derek definitely is in the window for maybe double sinting his mediums. to loiter on the back of Royston as well. Now, to look at the fuel situation then. So, Zach has got... I think he's got another lap in there to be honest. He might go for eight laps here. Maybe that's his plan. <laughs> Extend on the mediums. By an extra lap then. <laughs> yeah, he's saying, saying uh, he's Old Spice having a rough night. Yeah, unfortunately so. Uh, everybody sing the Old Spice song. Give him a, give him a boost. Cost, so. <laughs> mashing the overtake button he's uh he's now eight seconds behind zach which i don't think is too bad for six laps in zach's in seven so laps zach's in oh, extra lap then so zach is oh, in oh wow that's um laps, he has yeah, so he'll really be quite enough fuel. what's lennon gonna do Ooh. lennon might carry on he's yeah lennon's gotta carrying carry on carry on yeah he's got another lap to do and one more that's a blue flag this could be not great news for zach he might come out in traffic here but I think at the same time you've got your maybe around, you've got to burn them really yeah maybe around P10 no not quite a bit further back than that Derek do well his tyres but not so well on his fuel well let's, let's see what he does with his, um, his pit stop here is he going to change tyres yes he is he yeah he's changing tyres yeah so off they go to be fair it saves you well I suppose he's got to put the hards on now isn't he so yes yeah Switchback is out in P8. Now he's got a bit of clear track ahead of him, actually. So he's not yeah, he's still in right traffic. There. He's got Panda ahead of him, which is not probably the worst person to be following. I see what you're on about. Yeah, well, you're you right, Mikey. I think Mikey might be on a stroke. <laughs> so we'll check on Mikey, please. Fossil there has got himself a second penalty. Caught the curve there through the second chicane. Blue flag's hanging on. Two, two, nine, two seconds. They're both time, though. zero fuel left. Just double check that nobody's going to run out of fuel. I think we're okay. See you not. has got one. There. Blue flag is literally on tubes. So he has run that as close as you can. 
No, Mike, I think you're having a stroke. Yeah, yeah he's, in, he's, he's, he's in trouble. Hang with in then. So Hang in. Biggles in. Unsafe in. Royston in. Pando will be in as well. Zach then will come round and yeah. reassume the lead. Nobody really managing to save any fuel. Well, we've got eight laps, which I think is about as far as you're going to go. Um, you're probably looking at having one or two percent when you get into the pits, to be honest. So I think that's about all you can do. Yeah. <coughs> What's the gap down to then? So switch back into the first game. Leonard on his way out. as his blue flag. Let's see how the gap resettles. Lennon's on... Well, Lennon hasn't changed tyres. Neither is blue flag, so they're double stinting. Mm, makes, yeah, that makes sense. Even that's, though it's... So that saved them about three seconds. Look, so they've... Yeah. they've that gap's now down to five. It was about eight. So yeah, the three yeah. seconds they've saved that. You're probably not going to lose that. Especially if you just do a seven lap stint. Yeah. Probably not going to lose that, you know, in time. So the gap now only five seconds. Leonard switch back. So I'd say Leonard's definitely in in prime position here. Yep. Let's see what Zach can do. Then can he extend mm. that gap again? He's on fresh tyres, of course. Leonard on partly one, but uh, the road doing very good. Nick considering just switched to unsafe release, and he was pretty sideways he looks to have recovered uh, oh CG and Jonesy are battling it out again for P11 uh, oh, CG didn't change tyres but Homer did uh, all safe has also changed tyres Joker is on his set, uh, same set as the first he's double stint Royston's on fresh tyres it'll be interesting to change be interesting to keep an eye on those two then Biggles and Homer because they are together I think um, Homer was ahead wasn't he so yeah by not rubber. changing tyres Biggles has jumped him in the pits but we'll see if it has an effect later on Jonesy yeah, on fresh tyres CG's on his previously one time we've got a lower demon to Ascari there though it's a bit of time he's rewired the next as well Ooh. gets it going but you're okay well done no on fresh tyres as does Fossil it's looking very misty around Monza yeah. yes we can't rain it can it so it's no unfortunately <laughs> I remember doing an ACC race around here. It was literally torrential. It was spinning down the start of finish rate in a puddle. I wonder when they'll bring the new ACC out. I don't know, Aaron. I don't know what it's going to be here. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, Jeez, really? I think, like, you know, oh, that's the kind of strike sake. that West Ham could do with as well, to be honest. I think they're all just knackered, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, Homer is already closed right up to the back of Bill, so maybe it does make more of a difference than uh, than we thought. Maybe Homer's just faster. <laughs> He's going to be looking for an overtake pretty soon, I think, though. Every time I look back, there's somebody else at the back. And there's always about five seconds between them. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Fossil's dropped off again. Yeah. He's back up again, to be fair. He's, uh, he's back on the bone. CG in front. I think he's, fast, he's faster than the others. He just keeps having accidents. Switch back then. The gap's holding. And he's just entering a couple of tenths at the minute. So 33-2 from him last time. Then did a 33-2 as well. So those two are pretty, well, pretty much identical lap times. Nine thousandths of a second between uh, <laughs> Zach and Leonard's well. times. Uh, blue flag is actually a tenth quicker. So they've run three. Now it's coming together a little bit here. Then Biggles has yeah, now got Homer all uh, over the back of him. Yeah, Homer got a really good run out of the first chicane. Is he going to move? Oh, no. Not quite. It's difficult to make a move into there. You've really got to commit to it. He's gone right round the outside, and Biggles again is playing it safe. He's playing <coughs> it through. Yeah, I mean, move. it's fourth he goes. It's working for Biggles, though. He's P5, which is not. I don't think he'll be. I don't think you'd be disappointed with that result if he stays like that. I mean, I know Biggles was, um, you know, you know, previous GT1 from last season, but um, I really think the gap between 
you know, the the bottom half of GT1, the top half of GT2 is pretty much indistinguishable, to be honest. We have a change for P2. Lennon has dropped it. And the first Lesmo, apparently, inside source. <sighs> Ooh. So then, Zach Lead is now seven seconds of a blue flag, then, who is now M to P2. Well, that changes it. That changes it up. Yes, that definitely benefits Zach. Dennis looks to get excited. 32.9 from Zach last time, 33.1 from Blue Ooh. Flag, 41.0 from Lennon. So Lennon's now got five seconds to make up on Blue Flag. <laughs> Aaron always beat, it to, beat us to it in the chat there, so tell us what was going on with Lennon. We did. That's what I saw. That that sources, pop sources are telling me is that <laughs> Lennon just shouting shit. <laughs> oh, shit on it. Shit on it. I think was doing well to hold on to Homer despite being uh, overtaken a lap ago. Yeah, safe. Yeah, comfortable P6. Check over on a P7. We've got Royston though just a couple of tests behind him. Panda meanwhile has gone past Ooh, Derek. Panda. Uh, Panda's up to ninth. He'll be kicking himself having uh, dropped out of P4 earlier. Especially with Lennon's mistake. Now he could be on with the podium had he not have had that spin. Go on P10. He's now in a lonely P11. He's also in the gravel at this exit of the second. Uh, Dagnet and CG's followed him wide. Yeah, these four are going to close up then. He's going to have very dirty tyres in because he was right in the gravel. CG just got his uh, left side tyres in. He's now got Odon breathing down his neck. If they go up to Ascari, Odon pops to the inside. Sparks flying. CG though hangs on around the outside. Gets on the kerb though. Ooh, Ooh, contact. Contact. Oh, Ooh, he saved it. What a save. <laughs> I'm not sure how he managed Oh, Josie's off. Oh, he's doing Josie. Fuck's sake. He's off on the exit of the uh, Scarry. <laughs> Zach there with 32 9 there. So Zach really lapping consistently, which I think is key at this stage of the race. 32 9 yeah, 2 ooh. 1 and a 32 mm. 9 4 1. Oh, he's had a big slide there out of the second deck. Though. What on earth has happened to Lennon? Lesman, sorry. Deck, that's, uh, that's a Zuka on circuit. What's, what's Lennon done? Oh, what has Lennon done? Lennon's done a fifth. I was just about to read um, Tom's comments saying he thinks Simon and Lennon are faster, it's not over, but I'm pretty sure it's over for Lennon now. He's now P5 mm. and 23 seconds behind, but yes, I I agree that uh, yeah, Simon's definitely still got a chance here. Suppose with the fourth home onto the podium. Mm. Blue flag then, hanging on. But if you two from him, that's that he's had a better run. Obviously, Zach had a big moment there, so I think Blue flag just closed a couple of tenths on him. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and safe. He's in the gravel. Out of Scurry. And we're thinking about his upcoming penalty. Here comes Joker closing in. Ooh. Oh! Oh! Joker's gone and Royston. <laughs> wow. Just a call now, Jeff. That was a. Uh, yeah, Sean did that pretty, on me. It's pretty spectacular. That was a great set. He did very well. That I thought he was going right around there, but he, he pulled that back very quickly. He lost Royston's... the place to Panda, unfortunately. But uh, that could have been a lot worse for Joker there. Royston's helmet briefly terrifying me. Uh, so Royston to seventh then, so yeah, the uh, two green cars then, running in third and seventh now, and making their way forwards. I'm not sure yeah, what he's got going on there. Is it, Luigi? Is it Luigi? Uh, I think it might be. Have a look. <laughs> yes, I believe so, which means that Homer's probably got Mario on? No, he's got Homer on. <laughs> oh god. Or is it Spongebob? I can't worse. tell. <laughs> Get close up. I can't tell. <laughs> People, yeah, giving up positions all over the place here. Let's... Now, Blue Flag is doing a lot better than Zach on fuel. Of course, it's a lot longer last time, so. Is he doing two eight stints in a row to begin with? Could well be. We'll be pushing on a little bit here. Yeah. Because they're probably both going to be in. Well, Zach will be in this time around. No question though, does he keep the same tyres on? Or does he go for a fresh set again? 
now under seven seconds and switch back to the 33 2 that time blue flag to the 32 8. how has i got so much fuel uh he stopped a lot later didn't he oh he did you're right yeah oh yeah everyone else has as well yeah it's gonna so it's about, about 12, a problem, 30 liters i think you use around here in a lot. Yeah. that's gonna be a problem for zach i think i don't know what he's doing but he's using a lot more fuel than everybody else I mean, to be fair, he's done his eight laps, so he's, yeah. he's pretty just bang on. So yeah. he's bang on where I'd expect him to be. Size just if he if he gets there. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. It's fine. You I think he might be just four at this point of the lap. I think to get there, he might just have dropped off a bit to fuel save because size catching him now. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And a comfortable third. Biggles now in a lonely fourth. Uh, Lennon then has got the Magnus back on again though. I was trying to make up some time. Three seconds a lot faster last time around then. Royston still ahead of Panda, but Panda is closing. Joke back out just, on the mediums. Suzuki 10th. Odin 11th. James Ian 12th. Yep, Joker now. So just us on the hard still. Joker now on his mediums. Switchback is in. What does Blue Flag do? Blue Flag's going for another eight laps. Um, so he's doing his two eight lap stints now. Because he can then push for the rest of the race. Could even do an eight and a six. Oh, get eight laps out of the mediums. If you can get eight laps out of the mediums, then yeah, by all means. But it's, that's that do you want to just absolutely cane those medium tires where we've got them though? Yeah, probably doing possibly. seven laps. Yeah. <coughs> I think it's about seven and a half laps is about standard for the tank, so. Zach's coming out into traffic here, I think. Or at least behind. On his way. Oh, yeah. He's got Royston coming through, Panda coming through. He's going to split them, I think. Yes, he does. So he's ahead of Panda yeah. this time. Yeah. Behind Royston. So he has going to have dirty air for this lap. Derek's in as well. Oh, no. It's easy to run out of fuel on the way to the pits. No, oh, no. He's made it, but he, he just ran out yeah. before Parabolica. Putting it just too far, but he's made it in. That's going to cost him a bit of time, though. Joker yeah, it's unfortunate. So the blue flag then on his inlap. Comes to be ahead of Homer. Alan is frothing at the G, meanwhile. But no, no, and you being on comms together, Sean. He's doing what now? Frothing at the G. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Just dropped off home a little bit. I oh, know he was buying Biggles when he's just ahead of Biggles now, so what's happening to Biggles? Biggles was on eight seconds on that lap, so Biggles had enough. Oh, he's not the only one looking at the comments. That's been off. Who's like in? Homer in. Lennon's in. All of them with one litre of fuel. Biggles peeling off now as well. Switchback has cleared yeah. Royston though, that's quite critical for his race. Yeah, although Royston is. Imagine. Is he going to come into the. Hits, yes, he is. Yeah, so that releases yeah, switch track. He's got to make it Blue back out in front. How far? Fresh tires. It looks like it's on fresh hearts. Oh, he's on mediums. So blue flag on Ooh, mediums. Here we go. Here we go. Then that goes through. It's only What's five seconds. That's five and a half. It's going up still. Six. So we'll probably get it after the chicane. It'll probably even out yeah. where he's actually at. Looks about six yeah, seconds. Six though. seconds. It's not a lot. <laughs> That's catchable on the stint, I think. Yeah. Lens out of the pits. He's he's not um he's not a lot closer than he was. So I think probably P4 for Len and Pandas now back out in the mediums. P9. Stakes, I think, a little bit. Yep. Safe is clear. Biggles. Roshan in hot pursuit. So Roshan's double stinting his tyres. Meanwhile. Was now on fresh tyres and safes on used hearts. So yeah, I see a number of people double stinting here, which what might happen. Which on the mediums is in eighth. He's ahead of Panda again, who's also in his medium stint then, so these two now using their medium tyre allocation. There we go, one in P10. 26 to go with Jones, who's having a drama at the first game. He is uh, not enjoying himself in these cars. Just no. Fossil's ahead of CG as they come around the first game then. CG on oh, CG. very worn hards. Oh yes. Is he trying to trip? Is he triple stinting them? Go on CG. 
So you rinse those hard tyres. The bold call. Bold call. God, let's see how it works out for him. I know. <laughs> I know nothing. I know nothing about it. The guy. I don't know if he's ever league raced before. Uh, he has a little bit. <laughs> he has. Okay. He may, but just be trying something outrageous then. Let's. Uh, let's. Oh, that was a bit too outrageous. Nearly lost mm -hmm. it. They're picking up some dirt ahead of him. It's going to Levi Root Sandwich. Zach at the front. Out on P14. But they get it. Looks like the grass there. So let's see what Sai can do then. So that was a 32.7 on his first flying lap. <laughs> of all the liveries. I'm sorry. I don't know who came up with that. What's this? I want to know. I want to know. <laughs> what the Levi Roots one? Yeah. Uh, what's that? Is it the Zach or Jordan's idea, I think? Great call. Oh, Zach has a big twitch in the sky, he's off! Oh, he's off! He's given he it a bit the too much the middle reggae, reggae. And he's going to lose the lead, because through goes blue flag! Oh, it's an man. absolute gift! It's a gift for blue flag, then he inherits the lead! One is medium tyres. Oh, Zach's driven superbly up to this point, but it's so easy to do in a scary though. He's touched that kerb. Aaron will be spat very him happy. off. He's retained second place, then Homer is closing. Biggles, meanwhile, is starting to put the pressure on. Uh, two on safe release. I'll tell you what, Lennon must have had such a big accident. <laughs> the one that we missed. He's had two, didn't he? Oh, did he have two? Okay. Yeah, he did a 41, like 11 sense. and 12, like he had a 41, 0, then a 42, 6. Oh, uh, yeah. No, just an image of my head of him. On two laps. Just an image of my head of him just rotating for about 10 seconds. Just got to put the laps in now. <laughs> <laughs> Tom has just jink confirmed he jinxed Zach. <laughs> He Zach crashed then. as I pressed send. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So Zach now has got to settle in, try and close back Excellent. down, then what can he do? I like the idea of someone having a little voodoo doll of Zach. Tom just pressing it, and he goes, ooh, and he crashes. So, Biggles on the safe. Most of them being closed down by Joker and Panda. Of course, we're on their medium tyres. So this is where the tyre offset that starts to come into place. Not obviously as big as it was at... Uh, Oh, top of the slope, you look at about three second lap time difference, wasn't there, last week between the, uh, the hard and the mediums? Jonesy in the lone ZP11, yeah. but Dusty not too far behind then. CG's dropped back a little bit. And then hold on. Whoa, he's really struggling, CG, on those tyres now. Yeah. Every time I go to him, he's just squirming out of the corners, and Odon on the mediums is uh, he's catching quickly. I see Blue Flag just threw in a 131.3 just casually on the uh, lap 18. Yeah, lap of the race so far. It's going to be difficult, of course, for Zach to close that gap back down again because they're going to, both going to be on the hards in the final stint. So it's going to be a mistake, really. He's going to need. Just blue flag in a better fuel position as well. He's very much in yeah. control of this one. So he can still hold it off Biggles. Well, he has got Joker and Panda closing in as well. But continues to hold them off for the moment. Yeah, and they're both on the medium tyres. So he's, he's going to struggle. The more he can hold them up now, the better chance he'll have later on. So I don't think... Royston has been on the medium tyres, yep. Yeah. Yeah, Thomas just pointed out the home will be on the medium tyres in the next stint as well. Yep. Yeah. He's going to put some pressure on Zach could as well. Be a, on the yeah, P2. could be a problem. Oh, front three, all on the back straight. Yep, yeah. he's got a lot more fuel on Zach as well, so he's going to gain some time in the pits. So it could be a P2 for the offing for Homer. Then he's got a penalty. He's very, very wide. Ooh. <coughs> Unsafe will be taking a look here as... Uh, Closing in on Lennon. Just one too many mistakes from Lennon tonight. Biggles is there as well. Go on, Biggles. Biggles pushing hard with the overtake down the back shed. Close in. He might fancy a move into turn one here. Can have a good run through Parabolica. 
that you might just need to work with on safe here because Lennon's having all sorts of bother and it's now just three seconds down the road from these two. Uh, the personal best of that, 32-6. No, Bingles is go for a move. going for it. He's hit all the overtake. Overtake and slip yeah. through, down inside he goes. Nicely done. Five. Stops on the apex, very good. Oh, Joker's just gone past Royston as well, into turn one. And Panda's now looking as well. Yeah, well, Biggles evidently thinks he can go um, faster than unsafe. You know what? I think going on, I think the fresher tyres may be um, the tyre change may be the one. Mm -hmm. At least, at least if you're going hard to hard, because Biggles does seem a lot faster than unsafe at least at this point in time. We're not looking our way past Royston, we're going to move into Ascari. Be close enough, so I'll have to follow him through. Try and get a move either into parabolic or into turn one. Panda oh, is in. Panda in P9 is interested in getting past Royston. Yep. Probably down Let's this main it. straight. This is medium tyres, extra grip he's got. Yep. He's in prime position for a move here. Royston's defending yep. the inside, but I think Panda. <laughs> Yeah, it didn't take Joker long, so uh, I think Panda's going to get the move done here. He's going down the outside, but he's just going to breeze past. Yeah, bit of overtake there, just to propel him through. And up into P8 okay. he goes. I think Royston probably realises it's not worth fighting that. It's not his race at this moment. If we can hang on to them, though. Oh, it's all gone wrong for the new guy. Oh, no, in fact, he stopped. He stopped very early, so that'll be... F he ain't going to make it to the end, is CG. No, I think I'll have to stop again, I think. Yeah, it's unfortunate. <coughs> Fair enough. Down the yeah. then. The learning exercise, especially jumping straight into these cars. It's a He's had not a easy. moment somewhere. It the 38.7 the last time around. So that might be mm. good news for Zach. Continues to try and check Blue Flag, who's now lowered the personal best to a 31.0. Yeah, I'm going to go back to GT2 next season. <laughs> <laughs> you wait till tomorrow when they're doing 29s. <laughs> we'll seek solace in GT3. It's fine. <laughs> to be fair, the lap times that we're doing last night, like guys at the front of GT3 last night were doing the same lap times I was doing, so I would be right at home with GT3. It's fine. <laughs> I reckon Sly can double stint the mediums. Uh, yeah, potentially. Yeah, he's he could. Very well. right. He's doing very well on his tyre wear, to be fair. I think he's. Obviously, there's always a mistake that can come in, and yeah, he's just got a penalty, as I said that. Joker's in. No, what? let's just keep cursing everybody. Let's let's go. The minute anyone says or messages or does anything to say that somebody might make a mistake, they, they make it. So. Yeah, they might make completely, a mistake. <clears throat> completely within our power. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It'd be terrible if I'd have made a mistake, mistake into the chicane. Mm, okay, go over that. Doesn't work. Yeah. Never oh, mind. he's on the grass oh. though. <laughs> <laughs> he's about off on, on a straight. <laughs> yeah. He finally got through to him. It's just a, just a bit of lag. Uh, lost the best on that lap. 32-3. Yeah. 32-8 behind him. So lost half a second. I'm going to play a game of guess what beer you're drinking while on comms. We all please do. Okay. Oh, yeah, assuming that I'm drinking a beer, clue? that's... Um... Get to get started? Oh, right, firstly, the, the the assumption that I'm just drinking a beer just because I'm doing comms is... Uh, I, I, I don't know, but... Yes, I am, so please do guess. <laughs> Switchback is in, then. It's one of my fav one of my favourites, so... Uh, yeah, I may have mentioned it before on comms, so see if we can guess. as well but he's got 11 litres of fuel the home event big fuel advantage over Zach then he's gone through for an extra lap incorrect Tom <coughs> Zach is on his way then 
P4, got some clear track. Is it a brew dog? No, can't be seen for drinking a brew dog these days. Dear me. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> <Don't be kidding. laughs> so, medium tire brigade, <laughs> Biggles unsafe on their medium tires. I wish. On the mediums. I wish I could find a, a, a WKD. Get the old Strawpedo out again. Foster's not Aaron. Oh, Jesus Christ. Fucking hell, Aaron. You take me for. He was like, in then. So, are oh, we going to see him double stick these tyres? To be fair, he had a big gap. He could probably play it safe because the guy directly behind him is going to be on the hards. So, is he going to risk double stinting them? Or is he going to put on, look like he's changing tyres? Yep, changing tyres. <laughs> Fuel going in. It'd be interesting to see if anybody else apart from me remembers this. I might be too old. There used to be a drink um, you could make called a cheeky vimto, which was a WKD lemonade and port. God, it was glorious. Blue flag then is out and away. Just crossing the line. And the blue flag has been able to extend his again, so he's done three eight lap stints. So he's uh, yeah. extended that gap now to 14 seconds, and so blue flag is comfortable. He's home and dry. Boy, Unless he makes a mistake. Yes, Homer's got nine and a half seconds to close on Zach, then that mistake he made on his last stint then mm. might have cost him a shot of P2, but six laps to go. It's not out of the. Uh, Lennon out of the pits. Uh, sorry, not out of the pits. He was out of the pits last lap, wasn't he? Um, no, he's just gone. Unsafe. Oh, yes. Yeah, unsafe releases 3.7 behind him. So it's a big ass for Unsafe, but yeah, it's not like we haven't seen a mistake from Lennon. Oh, yeah. Oh, Biggles must have made a mistake somewhere because uh, it's not like having Unsafe's under yeah, fuel or anything. Four second difference on their out laps. Look, so it's on the last lap. So Biggles come out in front and. Uh, at the moment, Panda's up to seventh then, so his recovery drive continues. What might have been for him. Now just 3.7 off the back of Biggles, but he's on the hard tyres. <laughs> Tom says, who has Port and WKD in the house? <laughs> well, I don't drink them now, Tom. Was, this was this was university, we had every conceivable type of alcohol in the house. Looks like he is currently ahead of Dusty Fossil again, but... Uh, He's have another stop to make because he's not going to make it on fuel. I think Biggles is going to have unsafe release before the end of the race. I've got nothing to base that on other than the fact he's my teammate, but he's got more overtake. Let's give it that. <laughs> Look at the, the overtake situation. So Blue Flag's got about a quarter of his overtake left. Switch back. As I don't know because mm, Aaron's a lot. thing has just popped up in front of my screen. Not a lot. Put me out of my misery. He's got not a lot of it. Homer's got about a quarter left, and he's already got that gap down to 7.4. Mm -hmm. He's charging. It's Two seconds out almost... last time. Yeah. Ooh, that's, well, um, that's plenty. Really, what's burn is that? He's going to well, be last lap, won't it? I think. I'll probably come together yeah. last lap at that sort of rate. Uh, Unsafe's got a quarter left. Biggles has got just over a quarter left. Panda is on his current. He's got about uh, less about half of between. Royston's about the same as Panda. Joker's got nearly half his overtake left. Joker needs to push the button. Ooh. <laughs> now he is interested trying to double. He's double his mediums. Look. Oh, when he's going to die. Well, he's got a big gap behind him, 22 seconds, so he doesn't need to push in this stint. But uh, it's very cool. Uh, perhaps unnecessary, shall we say then? Uh, but, uh, <laughs> he's got about just under half of his overtake as well, so he's got a lot left to burn. Yeah, he's CG's got half. back in. CG's back in for his extra stop, which is unfortunately going to relegate him to the last. Just a um, quarter left, yeah. Hold on through the yeah. 30. CG's Big old fastest lap. 30.8 there from him. That is a rapid lap. Yeah. First one into the 30s then. And he is closing down. Oh, unsafe for Elisa, unsafe for him. He's off at Parabolic, but around into the gravel. There he goes. Must have caught the Astral Surface teammates going to come around here as well. Panda goes through with the P6. Royston's coming out of Parabolica now. 
And we'll be I closing that gap the, down. I think that's the first first person I've seen lose it out of Grand Parabolico in this race. Uh, yeah. Interesting one. Well, got a place to lose it there. I think we must have got on the AstroTurf. Yeah. Oh, I like it. Yeah. Uh, okay, well, so. Bingles P5 then, Panda P6. And the Panda is on the hard tyres, two behind him, his teammate and Royston yep. uh, on the mediums. So, we could be closing down on him before the end of this race again. All right, just to put Aaron out of his misery, <laughs> just put Aaron out of his misery, it's a, um, it's a Sharps Atlantic Pale Ale, and I'm drinking. No, that was my next guess, I swear. If, if, you haven't, <laughs> if you haven't tried it, do so, it's fantastic. Well, up front then, Blue Flag is going about his business very comfortably. 13 point, just under 13 seconds now. Managing that gap. Zach behind him, lapping similar times, both in the 32s. I think Zach will be settling for P2 here. The gap behind him, though, continues to close. It's 4.8 seconds, and Homer is charging. Ooh. However, he's used almost all of his overtake as well. Zach has used all his, so his is gone. And there they are, then. They've got the CG in between them. Yeah, blue flag's coming around to lap Dusty Fossil, so... Dusty want to make it interesting and just hoon him off, that would be uh... <laughs> <laughs> I think that, that stage of Dusty Fossil's career is over, thankfully. <laughs> Such random yeats. <laughs> I remember him once at an F1 race in Brazil, uh, ended up spinning off into the infield and got disqualified for being... <laughs> for if, only, if, if only my uh, my random yeats era was over, but hopefully it is now. <laughs> Which was also heavy the same thing. <laughs> yes, a very short era. So Homer's now got a bit of traffic to deal with. He's got CG between him, which I think is costing him here. Losing time. As he tries to close down on Zach, then he's got two and a bit laps left to go. Yeah. Of course, it's a Homer helmet because he's Homer, so it's a Homer Simpson helmet. Have you just got that? I've just got that, yeah. Oh I just saw the hair on the top, I was like, oh, he's definitely Homer Simpson. I was like, wait, <laughs> hang on, no, it makes more sense now. Yeah. Man after my own art. He has a bit of a twitch come out of Scar, that's a good Homer the running needs. Do a pulling over to the side here. Yeah, that mm -hmm. might have crossed Homer then, his shot at closing down Zach. He's got down the inside, yeah, so he just pulled pulled wide Parabolica. Yeah, only, only three laps to go. It's still doable, but... Oh, I've got to have a horrible feeling CG's going to try and re-overtake Homer. <laughs> no, he lifted off that. Yeah, no, I think he okay. must have heard you. He's not going to have okay. on for stopping him. It's fine. Good man. We'd have to ban him from the league immediately. <laughs> 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 okay, it's not um, over. It's coming down to four seconds, I guess. The big ones then. Not really been able to make much impression on Lennon. No, Lennon really put in a 131. Yeah, they were almost, almost identical, identical laps. Laps last time. Yeah. 31.438 for Biggles. 447 for quite, Lennon. Couldn't quite keep up that pace, Biggles. So, I mean, you only need one corner to go slightly wrong to drop you from a, a mid 30 to a, a mid 31. To be honest, it's, yeah. you've got to be so precise. Let's caught Panda again. A bit of time into Royston. Now, what will Panda do here? Will he let his teammate go? His teammate on the medium tyres, Panda on the hards. Jacob in ninth, that left rear tyre looking very second hand. Mm -hmm. James, though, oh, he's 40 seconds in a rear, so he can just cruise around. Joker has passed Derek. I'm sorry, Jones, he's passed Derek for uh, P10. I don't think Panda's going to let Unsafe go. He's going to make him overtake him. As long as they don't... Oh, big twitch from Panda. Unsafe is through. Panda's trying to hold on. He's wide. Oh, he's Royston's going to get through. Yeah. I mean, that was likely going to happen anyway at some point, but I think Panda will be happy with that. Yeah, uh, that wobble there has cost him close to Royston. I think he could have held yeah. off Royston, no thought for that. But he uh, loses out. Yeah. Uh, can he come just, back, just not enough for Homer. We're on to the final lap. He's still three seconds down. Then let's get to some gravel. Oh, what's up to Biggles? Oh, oh, come 15 on, Biggles. seconds off the back and suddenly in front of him, <laughs> safe release. I think I said Witchell, Witchell jinxed him there because he said he was flying. He was flying off the circuit. <laughs> Panda, they're right on the back of Royston still, so it's not over, but uh, 
up the road, coming into a scar with a blue flag. Just let Justice Bottle yeah. go. In the end, didn't need to make that overtake. Yeah, just cruised <laughs> round. Didn't want to take the chance. Didn't want to take the chance. Yeah. No need. Don't need to win the risk. Good evening, Zob. Also, again, hilariously, he's going to make he's going to make Dusty Fossil do another lap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rounding the parabolic for the final time. He... I know Dusty is sensibly uh, <laughs> level <laughs> throttle, so he, he doesn't have to do another lap here. So coming around that blue flag, then will take his first Super the Formula victory of the season. Then great job from him. It's going to be a Levi Roots flying formation <laughs> finish. Is that then coming around to put a lap on? <laughs> His team they cross the line there together. We go. Good job, and then Homer. Homer in the end, just two point seven seconds back. Lennon then will come around in P four. What might have been for him? Yeah, because he's going to hold on. Held off. Yeah, unsafe release. Royston has also gapped Panda ever so slightly. Then the Biggles will come around for P five. It takes the fastest lap, at thirty point six. Unsafe P six. Royston P seven. Panda P eight. <laughs> Joker's left rear tyre is about gone, but he's going to make it to the flag. Oh, hello, Zom. He's just tuning in for the end. <laughs> <laughs> Great job. It's all that new kit he's got. got Joker, that one, I think. Tight. P9. Went considerably yep. better than his uh, or top of this week did. Mm. Here comes Jonesy. Oh, Jonesy, careful. Jonesy then. Another start to forget. That was recovered for a top ten. And Derek filling in for Nobby. Going to come home for a solid P11. Great job from Good him. Job, Derek. And then as we're seeing, just Fossil's P12. Odon P13. CG P14. <coughs> and that then was GT2. Ooh. Blue flag then capitalising on switchback's mistake there. Denied us of a grandstand finish. But in the end, then comfortable victory by 13 seconds. Zach then coming home in P2, having led for much of the opening half of the race. Homer then ends up P3 there. What yeah, could he have got a little bit closer there of not for getting hold up in traffic, but uh, still great job from him in P3. Lennon then ending up P4 then just uh, disappointed, I think, having had that mistake while running P2. And then another one yep. dropping him down there, ends up 23 seconds off the lead there, having been ahead of Blue Flag earlier on. Uh, I think uh, solid points for him. Yep, I think that's going to put the Blue Flag. Um, into P1 of the championship in both, both now only in both championships yep yeah. okay. who did well out of the teams let's see yes Biggles then P5 great job from him there unsafe in P6 Royston P7 solid job from him good week for uh, him and Homer Panda ending up P8 Joker P9 <laughs> Jonesy in P10 Derek P11 filling in for Nobby solid job from him Dusty Fossil at a start to forget but uh Captured a couple of places, ends up P12. Odon, who's filling in for Jordan, there's a job from him in P13. And CG's debut ends with a P14, but made it to the flag. So, congratulations yeah. to him. I think teams wise, I think he, um, the Ridgeline team done pretty well tonight, Homer and uh, Royston. I think got fairly solid results in both races, so. Whereas everybody else is sort of splitting the field, so. You know, Blue Flag's team P1, P10, and Levi Roots team is P2 and P13, so, yep. yeah, everybody Probably else sort of bookending. Yeah. So I think these guys are sitting quite nicely in the mid-pack, they're, they're third in the team's championship at the moment, and level points with Team Pac-Man. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how we get on tomorrow. Indeed, then. Well, yeah, back tomorrow then for GT1. We are back here at Monza for another Porsche and Super Formula the race, so please do join our commentary team for that. Uh, but for this evening, thank you very much for joining me, Sean. Yeah, thank you. And thank you for everybody in the stream. Thank you for the likes. If you haven't liked the stream before you go, please do so. Uh, thank you for the comments. And please do join us tomorrow where we'll be on track and some other poor mugs get to do commentary instead. So please join them for that. But from us for this evening, thank you and good night. See you next time. <laughs>